Alright, I just got home from the game, and the question that is running through Broncos country's head right now is, what was going on on this sideline interaction here with Sean Payton and Bo Nix? This was after the missed touchdown to Troy Franklin, where it looked like a slight overthrow by Bo Nix, but additionally, it could have also very easily been caught by Franklin. Nix took accountability for it in his presser afterwards, but you're going to see here that... On the sideline, Bo's going to kind of get in Sean's face here. Sean puts his hand right there on Bo's chest, and he's, I think, saying that they needed to do something different. And then Bo said, no, we didn't need to do that. And he's having this very animated discussion right here with Sean Payton about it. Sean Payton said in his press conference afterwards that the Broncos on that play there was some issues on if they should have flipped the play or not flipped it. So given what hash the Broncos were on, I don't remember if they were on the left hash, right hash, or in the middle, but apparently Bo flipped the play when he wasn't supposed to, or Sean wanted the play flipped when it shouldn't have been flipped. Not exactly sure. We didn't really get clarity on that given situation, but you'll see Bo very fired up about it on the sideline. And then Sean kind of turns over to him and says, I know, I know. And then Davis Webb, you'll see he eventually, or he'll get in the conversation here and he's kind of wondering what's going on. Sean's going to tell him like something about flipping the play. And then you think, I think he said like what position is the ball at or something like that. I don't know if maybe he meant what hash. Again, the way Sean was talking about, it was all about whether the play should have been flipped or not. And they still had a chance to hit it, even though the play wasn't flipped or was flipped. Not sure what exactly happened there. And then eventually you'll see him and Davis Webb kind of get over there. Bo goes over and eventually starts talking to his other teammates. But what they won't show, if you see this on a lot of aggregate sites, is pretty soon afterwards, they get up here and you'll see that Sean is coaching up Bo. And this is a much more positive interaction. He's going to stay right there. You have to see it a little bit faster. Not sure what play this was in reference to. I've got to go back and watch the TV copy. But this was after that had happened. So, clearly, there's no animosity between Bo Nix and Sean Payton. Bo was just passionate and competitive about the play. Sean Payton said in his post-game presser that Bo has a little bit of Ferris Bueller in him. I thought that was funny. But I don't think that there's a big story here, folks. I really don't. Just some miscommunication on a play. It happens. Flush it, move on, correct your mistakes, and don't let it happen again. That simple.